Playtime 1967 was directed by Jacques Tati. Jacques Tati is a very infamous French comedian back in the 60s, 50s and possibly 40s. He has made only six films in his life and he is pretty much the first foreign Mr Bean. Mr Bean pretty much has taken, or I wouldn't say stolen, but has been highly influenced by the works of Jacques Tati. Jacques Tati has only made, I think, around about six films, and all of them feature the central character that is Mr Hulot. Mr Hulot is like Mr Bean, a comedy sketcher. Jacques Tati is pretty much a comedy sketcher, and his most infamous or critically acclaimed film is a movie called Playtime. Now, I only seen the first five minutes of um, Mr. Hewlett's Holiday when I was like, I don't know, seven. My grandfather showed me it and I completely forgot about it. All I remember was a boat opens like that and it scares a whole bunch of people on the beach. That's pretty much all I remember. But anyway, Playtime is a film that has clearly inspired a generation of filmmakers. Wes Anderson, Paul Thomas Anderson, especially Jim Jarmusch and Aki Kurismaki, especially by the way they look. Playtime is a very good looking movie. Cinematography wise, it's stunning. And what I admire about the movie is how it is very into the hands of its own auteur. It doesn't feel corrupted, such as the contemporary cinema of today. And it doesn't like, you know, superhero movies and so forth. And it doesn't feel like it was made by multiple directors. It all feels like it's a film made by its vision of its own auteur. People describe Playtime as the ultimate uh, auteur, uh, auteuristic movie, which I could see why. However, the humour may not be really for um, everybody, not really for everybody in that regard, because it's not dated humour, but it's so light and so of its time that it may not click with everybody's perspective. Um, I didn't find it that particularly funny. Then again, my sense of humour is much more, I, I love absurd humour. And there is absurd humour in playtime, but for me, it didn't quite hit me sharp. Um, and as far as plot is concerned, playtime is not a film focused on plot. And that is absolutely fine. There are films like that who don't really focus on plot rather than feeling and direction. And Playtime is pretty much a two-hour sketch movie. We follow a bunch of uh, bus tourists who travel to Paris. And in Paris, they visit the bureaucratic environment of the high establishments. And what happens is that one of the characters in the bus tour, no, um, Mr. Hulo, sorry, played by Jack Tatty himself, is part of, sort of gets intertwined in these uh, with these people and all sorts of comedy, you know, absurdity happens along the way. And it's very beautifully choreographed. Everything is put into place like a musical and it goes from day to night to morning. That's pretty much it. It's like a bus tour. It's like, you know, a tour, a tour guide for these tourists. That's pretty much the whole movie. But absurdity and comedy happen along the way. That is pretty much what the plot of Playtime is. And it's not focused on character development. Um, it's lots of extensive uh, shots, lots of long angles, and, and you could tell, like I said, it really inspired uh, filmmakers by how it is shot. I admired it. I thought the cinematography was excellent, the colours were strong, and Jacques Tati, you know, planned the whole thing out, and I appreciate the way how he directed this movie. It's a sharp-looking film, and it's a depthful-looking um, method of how we can see filmmaking as a form of approach, right? It's a very strong piece of filmmaking, and therefore I give this movie a three and a half out of five. It's not, in my perspective, my um, cup of tea as far as comedy is concerned, um, but I do appreciate the craftsmanship. I appreciate the tone, the craft, and what the director uh, was trying to tell and how he wanted to tell his own story in his own particular manner. And that happens very rarely these days. You get very few filmmakers like that, which is why, but then again, this was made in 1967, so who could say? But yeah, a three and a half out of five, and voila. So if you enjoyed this video, put a like, subscribe, and there you go. Ciao, au revoir.
Arrivederci. Thank <laughs> you.